So when we finished uh, our work, the last step will be just to uh, if you're going to uh, make write an article and publish it in a peer reviewed journal, or you want uh, making a pair of some just a thesis, special thesis or master thesis. Uh, the last step is to create map that are visually representative and uh, and also uh, if you're going to print them so uh, so we have here all our layers and our ground, final groundwater potential zones so uh, let's go to insert no uh, let's go to view and change from data view to layout view so see that uh, the framework has changed and we uh, have the representation of a map which we can see uh, uh, day in our day-to-day -day life and uh, the next step will be uh, to uh, to change uh, to change our layout so uh, there is additional uh, buttons here and we need this one change layout so I'm going to change it into this uh, landscape format. So I think that this one is more visually representative and more attractive. So if you're going to move uh, the map itself, the layer, uh, you uh, need to use this pen tool. But if you're going to move uh, the window without not touching the map, you need to use uh, this pen tool. So there are two pen tools. So and I'm going to increase uh, the uh, the map, the scale of a map, the scale of a map. So uh, probably slightly more, uh, or we can use also this one. So uh, if you're going to zoom the map, you should need again this two zoom tools if you're going to just uh, zoom the window uh, you need to use this one so uh, I think so far it's enough um, and the next step will be to insert legend so see that uh, there are one legend items if you uh, just click this all layers you will have all of the layers in this case you should uncheck or just use this uh, tool in order to delete them from legend items so uh, forward uh, forward and I'm going to change background to 10% so here is my legend and uh, I can increase it in but uh, I think that uh, the value and groundwater potential zones are not needed here and I want to delete them so I'm going to I'm pressing right button of mouse and going to properties so uh, go to items groundwater potential zones and I just recheck uh, uncheck show layer name and show heading click OK OK so see that now I have only legend with uh, colors which represent so I can make it larger so and the next step is to add a scale bar right uh, can increase it and we can change it by the way uh, to uh, kilometers from miles to kilometers and the next step is to add a north
so uh, and the last step I can add also the longitude and latitude to the bound to the my frame so I'm going to properties again I uh, know uh, I'm going uh, I'm going to the data frame data frame properties so I have here grids and I'm going to add new grid so uh, I will leave it the graticul divides uh, map by meridians and parallels so I have to change it now to appearance as labels only so everything is forward forward and okay but see that it's very small and invisible so I'm again going to properties so I'm now uh, double clicking to graticul and I can see the size font size here I can increase it to 36 and I'm going to make this uh, vertical labels uh, right and left just click label access all but uh, label orientation vertical labels as left and right so this part left and right uh, are will be my vertical orientation click OK see that now it's more clear so we can see that these are the longitude and latitude east side and the north hemisphere as well so uh, I'm increasing it uh, so uh, now I can save the map going to files export so uh, I'm choosing this arc map and uh, I will write it uh, so it's a JPEG file I will write it a uh, groundwater potential zones and uh, I'm going to increase the resolution into 300 dpi so it's up to you uh, what kind what dpi you will choose the highest dpi the the larger the size of the image and higher the uh, resolution and accuracy bear in mind that uh, most of the journals uh, scientific journals require at least 300 dpi so i recommend you to choose this uh, general options so save so now it's exporting it will take some time because the image in our case uh, will be large because I increased the DPI into 300 so this is my map let's open it so I think that it looks okay in general visually representative so in general I can understand the length of the study area so I can understand the legend which color represents what and this are also uh, the longitudes and latitudes make me makes clear where it's located so uh, I now we can repeat the same steps with other uh, layers so I'm deleting this one and I will leave the same all the same things all the framework but I need to change the legend so again uh, do the same change the background to gray 10 percent let's expand so I'm again going to properties so, so item slope my I'm double clicking and just uh, I'm checking show hair name and this one so by the way I if you're going to understand uh, uh, the units you can go again to properties and go to general and uh, in brackets I will write degrees because a slope in degrees
so and again let's save it slow so the options are the same I'm saving so it's saved now I'm moving to I can delete this one I'm moving to uh, Savi so I'm repeating the same steps so let's expand it And again, I'm uh, going to uncheck show online name and heading. I don't need them. So these are just classes. So I don't need to write the unit. There are there is no unit here. Again, I'm saving it. Save. precipitation legend So the unit of the precipitation is in uh, millimeters, right? Millimeters for uh, 10 years. By the way, uh, just a moment. By the way, uh, we can also I forgot to add. Uh, can just. Uh, I forgot to add the heading, title. Can add also a title. Name it uh, precipitation. And uh, increase the font size. Going to change symbol. Uh, let's increase it to 72 okay precipitation and and now again save it So alignment so I finished uh, creating maps and I open I can open my folder and again just check my maps so this is classification for my study area so depression in meters so it's my final groundwater potential zones for my study area Alignment density, precipitation, and savvy. And the last one is slope. So this is our final results, and you can add them, publish them, uh, your uh, research as an article.